This is DAPU 7, a space weather update, as we have witnessed yet another X flare release from the sun in this very active region that you can see here, AR3664. This is the size of the very famous Carrington sunspot. Kicking off X flares, a lot of M flares that are registering just below X flare status. You can see, in terms of the size, it's there. And now they're stating with this latest X flare release that we should expect cannibal CMEs or the later CMEs catching up to ones that let loose a couple days ago. And this forms a massive blanket of plasma energy that's going to hit the planet. And they're expecting a G4 class storm to ensue from this. Right now, it's looking like somewhere around the 11th is when all this energy is going to be hitting Earth. And I'm sure it's going to spark auroras all over the place, further south than what we're used to seeing. If you guys catch any of those shots, let me know. But I would use some caution with this. It's this type of setup that could potentially cripple our frail grid here in the United States. Something like this could start to fry components, and it only takes a couple of those weak links in our grid to go down, and it will cause a cascading effect that will leave a lot of people in the dark for some time. Is this going to be that so-called kill shot? I don't know, but what I do know is that if it ever happens, it'll look something similar to this setup. I would believe, with a lot of energy hitting the Earth, enough to cause a lot of problems. So, we've got to watch an effect for this severe storm coming in from space, and I'll also throw in an earthquake watch because they're heavily correlated and connected with these events as well. Join me for the live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on the other channel, Surviving End Times. You're missing all the action if you're not over there where we're breaking down all these events in greater detail. Make sure to follow. Hit that bell notification as well. It's been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.